mother is Mamatiwa. She can literally wake you up in the middle of the night to ask you where you're going to get, get married. Like, why? <laughs> and like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Shalewa is my little brother. He's a beast. He's a parasite. An evil spirit. I don't even know the words to use. Like, and seeing you today is them. Um, like words fail me. I talk a lot. Everybody knows I can talk for Africa, but today my my words have failed me because I have seen a big black Craig. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> she, 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 Guys, Jay just made something amazing. So Nigerians, this is like plantain, right? Ugandans call it kile wili. And then that's like not roasted and tossed together with like peppers, honey, cinnamon. And then she shaved like some fresh coconut on top of this. Guys, you don't understand what this thing is doing to me. You see all this oil? Yeah, I'm gonna pay for it next week at the gym. But for now, when in Ghana, it's Kile Willy. And what do you call it again? Kile Willy. And Tatali. And Tatali. Yeah, we're about this life. Alright, guys, so this is. So this is with Sobono, which I guess you would say is pop up with Zobo sauce, to be fair. But we're about to find out what this yumness is. Sorry for you. <laughs> you know, this is this is Miss Oh my god Miss Jolo <laughs> herself. Excuse you please, can you tell us what you do? Oh um, I'm a culinary entrepreneur. Tell them. So um, I'm involved in promotion of Ghanaian cuisine. I okay. organize food events and culinary experiences. Yeah. So please what's your Instagram handle and thing? My Instagram handle is uh, JJB, J A Y underscore JB. You said I want to be before. Yeah. What, oh, before? Okay. Okay. I used to be yes, it's used to be Bukasi Chick. But it's not Bukasi Chick. The work page is now Bukasi Chick. Well, fair enough. Yeah. So if you, well, if you come to Ghana and want a good food experience, I'll hook you up. A jollof is the bomb. Anytime. Not saying it's better than Nigerian, but it's the bomb. Charlie, agree. <laughs> so disagree. <laughs> Guys, so... Yeah, come and take us through. Use your fingers. This is jollof and uh, beef kebab. Okay. This is samosa, spread okay. roast, caposhito, okay. fried yam, okay. uh, wings with some soya sauce, okay. bean stew, and fried plantain. And Ghana salad. Ghana salad. Yeah. What do you guys call it? Kele -wele. No, kele -wele is when you spice the plantain, oh, so but without, yes, yeah, it's not spice. Alright, guys. So this is day one of my Accra experience, almost done. Um, I went for the lunch, I got in at nine-ish. Um, yeah, so African Region Hotel, that was really nice. It's a really nice hotel. I went for the lunch at um, Silverbed Gallery. And once that was done, I went home, I went back to the hotel to rest for a bit. So then I came out for Jay's Masterclass, which was fun. You'll see pictures of the food that um, she made and I tasted and it was amazing. Especially that puff puff. Oh <laughs> guys, I'm not gymming on this trip. One week I'm just gonna fast well. <laughs> then I will die again on the line when I get back. But yeah, and so after that I came over here to hang out with her. And that might be it. I'm not sure I'm gonna say anything for today because <laughs> I'm tired and I need to sleep. I have an interview first thing tomorrow morning at 8.30 at C CYFM with Caroline Sampson, my girl Caro, baby. So I'm super excited. So, yeah, guys, Accra signing out day one. Jay, say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. So, yeah, as I was saying, I'm going for breakfast. So, I'm going out. If you judge me, hey, but yes, this is me. And I hit ground floor because I am extra.
Skinny girl in transit. Girl, I'm ready. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Guys, they are forever having this argument. So I'm here to have fun. So I'm excited. So Caro has brought me to somewhere called Chigusta. Chigusta. Yes. Ever residential. If you're bougie enough, you find yourself in Ghana 233, connect here. Yes, connect here. I don't know what was wrong with my camera, y'all. Look at Caro's bag. Hey, hey. This bag is going with me to Nigeria. <laughs> You can get everything you want right here. So I decided to bring my girls to my other girls shop. Talk about everything, fabrics, uh -huh. accessories, uh -huh. award winning. Uh -huh. And she happens to be the uh, ambassador to the Vatican's daughter. Oh, good. My claim to fame, that's my friend. Oh, great. <laughs> so we're about to enter. So Selena. remember that bag I said I liked, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is where she got it from. You actually can find a lot of these elsewhere too, but I'm telling you for fun because they're little Hey, love look at this bag. Wait. Baby, you can have whatever you like. I have whatever I like. <laughs> yeah, I'm Caro, baby. <laughs> Caroline has brought me somewhere. Caroline has brought me somewhere called Lunch Company. Lunch Company. Lunch I'm going to place that. Oh, it looks so pretty though. <laughs> Guys, I'm living my best life. Anything you want. I'm living my best Who life. Who is she or not? Guys, this is the plantain chips that I need to buy and bring to Nigeria. I've heard ah, nothing but good things about it. Yeah, I in the car i'm trying to look at the camera but I, there but it's hard because i'm going to keep looking here but i'm gonna look here now so i'm in the car and we're on our way to where are we on our way to east lagon american east lagon house. american house american house that's where we're going to and julie is here with me hi. mr dove do you want to say hi hi <laughs> 
So he's one of the million guys that always walk up to me and go, Oh my god, you are the skinny girl in transit girl, yes. My girlfriend loves you. And I'm always like this. I'm waiting for the day guy walk up to me and be like, Oh hi, I'm a fan of yours. And leave it like that. But it's always that girlfriend, which is good. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all love, isn't it? But yes, man, day three, Ghana. I had an interview today, that's why I wore makeup yesterday. Charlie, I could not be bothered. I like the way I see Charlie now because I'm in Ghana. <laughs> but yeah, I wore makeup. I actually bought this Maybelline um, Super Stay. Yeah, the new one, anyways. And I tried it on, I put it in the mall. And I love it. It's like really nice, isn't it? But yes, guys, we're on our way with Julie, baby. Hi, number one fan in Ghana, please. Some people we argue with her, but tell them. She'll tell you, Auntie, don't. I beg, Auntie. Take yourself behind me. Behind. My behind before, before. Yeah, tell before, before. Before, before. I was the fan, and she came, and now I'm still the fan. Alright, guys. So I got this and this for four seasons. Ghana seasons. Yes. I know what you want. Ah, is this a new? Me reto un cielo. Every new. Hola, yo. Hola, yo. So guys, my Julie baby ran into this place. I want to check out some beads. Maybe get some waist beads. Look like a nice African princess. Put my weight in order. This store is so pretty. This store is so pretty. The store is so pretty. Where is this? Where are we? This is a Bawaleshi. Bawaleshi. It's the one? It's the one, but it's called Bawaleshi. Bawaleshi. Yeah. Yes. I have to get my tribe on. Look at all of this. So guys, Julie brought me somewhere called Jets. So I saw this hat and I decided, oh sorry guys, that was horizontal. I'm sorry. I'm learning, I'm getting better. Ladies, this is the vlog that everybody would see. Really? And these Ghanaian girls. Hi. We don't mind. Wait. Actually, this one has she's a the one looking for the Yoruba demon. Ah, this one, the, ah, me, this one, my bum bum is on point. You see her body. All these bucks, oh, Yoruba demons, red zinc. We carry a show now. <laughs> these Canadian girls are hot mess. So dinner is, dinner is, let me turn this off for a bit. So dinner, dinner is mm, some yam chips, tilapia fish, that's green pepper she talk, and then that's just ketchup. And then that's what I'm having. So this is the way they serve it. I'm running. It's um, onions. That's raw onions. That's raw tomato. Tilapia. Yam chips. I had five. And then um, shito. Green shito. And then ketchup. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. I'm excited. Guys, day four. Going downstairs for breakfast. I'm tired. I don't think that I can get enough I was thinking maybe you can go with me Tell me I'm not dreaming See, we are the back And you hold me like a conversation You know this is not about only me Yes, I really mean it I really mean it, girl You got no vibe by me You know you need a guy like me So my car baby and I came to eat here when I saw the menu, I just thought everything was so pricey and ridiculous. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to order this mixed entry. It says shrimps, fried calamari, sesame seed corn on rope on toast, right? So this is what they just brought. The calamari is three. I'm guessing this is the something on toast. And then this is the shrimp. And I'm confused. Because you see, the price is 35. <laughs> and then Caroline ordered just fried calamari of 25. And then she got this six. <laughs> and you tell me that Nigeria no, 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 is bad. They didn't want to give us lemon. And then to give me this lemon, this two slices there, the guy told me that they only serve lemon with drinks. <laughs> a bougie market. A 
Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Caroline thinks that everywhere Different I go to always level. has to be bougie. But yes, we're here. Look at her short dress. Look at how tiny her legs are. <laughs> so coming inside, guys, it kind of feels like I'm at um, either Walmart or Walgreens because it's like really huge. Like a coffee store, which is called Second Cup, but I went to her own. It kind of feels like a Starbucks, isn't it? And then you just have like big stuff all around. Garnet section, all that good stuff. So yeah, this is Palace. Yeah. Guys, I've told her that I'm not going anywhere with her anymore. <laughs> Because this woman will not let me bring one night around. <laughs> so I've told her that at this rate in which she's spending money on me, when we reach Nigeria, this one. when she comes to Nigeria, a whole house, house buy this one. A house. She's buying me a house. A house and land. You be shocked. Next week I'll be there. Charlie, try me. next week. Try me. I'll me jump time. on that place. I need like two years. <laughs> two years. I will jump on that but place. But I don't know how to thank her because she will not even like. And you know it's fight because how? How? She's a bronze celeb here, so they know her. I so once I try to it. give them money and she tells them in their language, <laughs> no, that's it. Everybody will not be fighting me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this kind of video. Yeah, I've not worn my wig yet, so don't worry. Caroline like came together, we're going to get my makeup done. <laughs> today be today. <laughs> today be today. Today no. be today. You are stuck. <laughs> Did you see my face? We have a long way to go today, actually. After my sessions, we have a few errands to run for Caroline. Because she's on TV. And so we're going for TV. So after radio, she goes to TV. She's busy. About my friend's bar. And they're going to have friends bar. Oh, okay. And Bimbo cannot eat bar. anything because what Bimbo saw last night, <laughs> Bimbo cannot speak <laughs> about it. <laughs> on this thing. Wait till my melody last night. My mouth no fit talker. So just a brief introduction, first of all. I always tell people this. Before I'm an actress, first of all, I've been a practicing lawyer for 10 years and counting. Um, I worked in a law firm for five years. And in 2014, I um, decided to make a change. In that same year as well, I found out I had brain tumor. So I had surgery, and subsequently afterwards, I found out Idan was hired. So I went for an interview, and I was hired. And the rest, they say, is history. So currently standing right now, I'm a senior producer at Indani TV. And, um, which is why I'm pretty much here, to be honest. So I'm here to talk about content creation. But what I always say when it comes to content creation is there's really no rule book to it. And the reason why I say that is because I just gave you a brief history of the fact that I'm a practicing lawyer, so every once in a while I speak pidgin English for those that don't know. I have a blog on YouTube, express yourself. Every once in a while, I let people know that there's no rule book to it. I studied law. I never went to school to go and study creativity, to go and study content, to go and study production. But I'm standing here today. I worked as a production manager for a movie called It's Okay. I don't know, has anybody seen It's Okay? Exactly. We just won an AMVC, two AMVCs, Best Film Africa, and best director. So the point I'm trying to make is sometimes you don't necessarily need to go to school for certain things. There are lots of things within us that all we need to do is, all we need first of all is an opportunity and just a deal. And everything else flows from here. So if you have not gone to school and there are certain things you want to try to do, open your mind to the fact that you can do it. You just need to be determined and you need to have the hustle spirit. So the reason why I say that is because I remember you mentioned, someone mentioned how Ghana is a bit slow paced. And I agree, I love you guys. But I've been here for four days and I'm like, Lagos, everybody's always, we're hungry. So um, yeah, so let's go straight into this. Our sponsors, GT Bank, but also by a young lady called Jadisola Oshibere, who was also the producer, director, writer of the movie, it's okay. And um, when Indani came about, the point was to be an online content provider, producing lifestyle content for the growing number of young, awkwardly mobile Nigerians who had a taste for entertainment, quality visuals, and creative storytelling. Now, at this point in time, in 2012, when Indani came about, we didn't think far in relation to the diaspora. We didn't think far in relation to other African reaches. Our first concern was, how do we engage the upwardly mobile Nigerian youth? 
that was pretty much where we started with. Now, some of our Indani shows at Glance, I don't know if a lot of you here have been on Indani YouTube page. We have a show called Rumor Has It. We just finished airing season two of that. Um, there's obviously Skinny Girl in Transit. Um, there's The Housewife, which is a short film. We were nominated for AMBC in 2018. Um, we have a show called Analyze This. It's pretty much a show where we don't for once talk about entertainment. We sit down and talk about things that are going on in our growing community, things that are going on in the economy. When you're creating content, how are you able to sort of balance the humor, but also you're trying to be um, positive about the way you portray characters? So I just want to know in the brainstorming process, what's it like typically? Like, what kind of things do you discuss? How do you go about it? I really want to know. Thank you trying to use it and she'll just fall on the floor and while she's fainting the bed will come and poop on her head and it will be funny yes but then it's a bit insulting and it's also not realistic so it was finding that kind of humor but if you notice with season one of skinny girl and season four that we stopped at you notice that there's a shift in the comedy as well now before it used to be everybody that was comical you had shaliwa with her one or two snare remarks you had tewa with the comeback you had Rosilla with the comeback and mommy always being in the comedy and then you had the woli who was also funny as well but as the seasons have developed, we realize that we can't just stick to just humor for everybody. Characters need to develop as well. So which is why you notice that even as a season four, Tiwa had, had jokes. And it was more balanced out with Didi, who was more comical. Because most of the people that we work with as well are creatives. So yeah, they're very good to us. Okay, so I think I like, we'll take two more questions then. Yeah, I've never yeah. really seen so <laughs> Hi, thanks for your presentation. Hi, thank you. My name is Nicole. I'm a TV producer here in Ghana. Okay. Um, I, I see that your plan is to expand outside of Africa. So what do TV producers here in, in Ghana have to do to get their content on in Ghana? Okay. So when we say our plan is to expand <laughs> outside of, we mean in relation to the kind of content that we produce. So for example, we are trying to take the juice outside of Africa. So we're trying to get connections with people that are both African celebrities outside and even international celebrities outside, whereas we can fly to them, to meet them, to be able to shoot that kind of content. We're also open to different types of content, but our key audience is still always going to be within Africa. Now someone had asked me yesterday in relation to the fact that there's a script that they have and it's a Ghanaian script, we'll be open to, you know, either commissioning or co-producing with them on it. And I said we would, but the truth is it's going to have to be a fusion. So guys, I just literally just finished my final session and it went really well. So I'm winning a crown because I deserve a crown. Yes, shout out to Laura Bay for my makeup. They did my makeup. I love it. Shout out to Hiki's hair for my hair. Shout out to Miss B5 for my wrap grill. Edith's eyes have fallen my, my crown. <laughs> no, I won't want something. But yes, guys, ah, this light is really good. Woo! Come on, guys. Look at this. Cute, cute, cutest, because it's my camera. <laughs> you want to argue, argue with your ancestors. <laughs> Oh, and the baby face. Baby face. You know what's funny? It's not I'm the angel. Okay. I'm on the show with these girls, and I'm not even there. Blah blah blah. Let me be a good picture. I'm not there. I'm a human. No. Oh wow. Ah, okay. Yes. You guys just want me to show. Me. I said I make catch your money. Now I'm a BS. I'm a co-host. What's your money? 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 Oh, so I want you to say good things. No, you can't say what I'm saying. She's not speaking about it. 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 Are you making a one of them? Yes, I'm you using your iPhone, I'm using your iPhone. Hey, 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 hey. You already have one. This is already one. Karana, ladies, I'm saying. We're about to roll. Come on. You're about to lie down. Together, sure. <laughs> How are we? We're at Newark. Good morning, guys. This is day six, and I just had breakfast. Looking at half mess, but I decided to come and explore the pool. I haven't been downstairs, to be honest with you. What just happened is random. So on the back of my phone, I have like a pocket socket. I think that's what's called, right? So I have that. 
And so, where I'm sitting at right now, there's a menu, right? And it's put in like a something stand anyways. So I just put my phone on top of the menu, which is paper. So I'm shocked it's holding up. It's wobbling, it's wobbling. Oh my God, hold up. <laughs> now, not the best angle, but I forgot my tripod upstairs. And I'm like, if I go upstairs, yeah, girl, it's not gonna come back downstairs. So I'm like, you know what, let me manage. So hi guys. Oh my God, hi guys. It's been crazy. This is day six in Ghana and it's been amazing. First of all, Caroline Samson, you are a beautiful human being. You're a beautiful person, Caroline. The way you have treated me on this trip. I pray for you. The camera literally just bent backwards, guys. Well, Caroline, the way you have treated me on this trip, I pray for you. I wish you nothing but the best. When you come to Lagos, I am definitely your punk because you have gone over and beyond for me. I am grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I have seen places. I have been to places in Ghana that if I was by myself, I probably wouldn't go. So I'm grateful. I'm super grateful for everything, and it's just been amazing. Um, today is officially the day where I start living my life <laughs> because I've been going for like um, sessions and stuff and doing everything. Shout out to Echo as well. Doing everything Echo needed me to do. So I feel like okay, these are my two days before I go back on Monday to explore Ghana. My friend Agogo is coming in tonight. So the whole of tomorrow is myself and Agogo, two strangers, trying to figure out what's going on. Today I told Caroline I wanted to go to the beach. So I don't know if it's gonna happen yet. It's just like 10 something. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm super excited. Ghana is beautiful. People are nice. Um, yeah, man, I'm in Accra. So to be honest, I can't say that I've seen the whole of Ghana. But Accra is beautiful. The hotel I've been staying in have been very nice. They've been very nice people, um, clean, really accommodating. I just, I feel really good. I feel really good. I have rested. I have slept. And I feel like when I go back to Lagos, I just, the first day, I, I feel like, you know, I'd be okay. Um, they're good looking men in Ghana. Yes. I figured that out yesterday night. Um, Caroline took me to a rooftop called Nogaze Sky Bar. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put the description below. And um, yeah, we're good looking guys. Some of them was like, is this guy Nigerian? Is this guy Nigerian? Is this guy Nigerian? And I'm like, no, he's Ghanaian. I'm like, ooh, Charlie. Ah, maybe I might find my Kweku, Kwame, Kwesi in this area. But um, yeah, man, they have good looking guys. Um, I mean, so are the ladies as well, of course. I'm just saying, I ain't checking for y'all. So, but yeah, it's been good so far. I look a hot mess. I'm tired, I literally woke up, brushed my teeth, came out for breakfast, because I'm like, see, if there's one steady meal I know I will have the entire day, it's breakfast. Even if I don't eat anything else, I know that I'm stuffed. And the reason why, oh God, sorry man, something in my eye. The reason why I say if I don't eat anything else, because every time I want to get something else, before I can pay for it, Caroline keeps fighting me. And you know she speaks tree. So she'll just tell them tree that they should not collect my money. And then she pays, so I told her that I'm not going out with her. And if I go out with her, I am not eating anything or letting her buy me anything or wanting to buy anything because she'll just keep paying for it. It makes me feel bad. I thought that when she comes to Nigeria and not to buy land for her because after all this spoiling was left. So my fat ass is gonna swim. And I said that with a joking heart. Calm down, people. Don't be so sensitive. So I'm going to swim. And Edit came to say hi with my Edit Baba. Hi, Baba. Say hello. Say people. hi. <laughs> I'm going to enter the water. Yeah. Just me and you because your mama's soccer. Mm -hmm. I thought she was going to. She's like, oh, she forgot to pack us. How car convenient. So we're in the water, guys. Nice. You guys have never seen me do this in Nigeria. <laughs> Girl, we gotta work on this love First we gotta work on ourselves They say only you can help you And nobody else Maybe it's been a Ghana has been great Alright guys Hi I said something light This is definitely This is light Look at him, you want to press People don't understand, you need to get a friend like Karu This is a second car that we're entering why your friend sponsors cars <laughs> to the celebs? These are your roles. Oh, Carol, baby. 
look at you looking like 20. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Which can I tell you for this game? Hi. Trying to hold me around for hey, AG. I need to go. What is this you're doing? Please stay. Stay as I'm going back to Nigeria tomorrow. I'm in my reality. Well, look at this one inside here. Wave. Wave. Just wave. Hey. Wave. Wave. Hey. 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 This is my way and girl. Eh? Hey. 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 Shout out to Tata for this my Sure. I don't want to go, guys. I don't want to go. But I gotta go. I gotta go. Mr. Richard came to get me. Mr. Richard, I have enjoyed Ghana. You do it. I have enjoyed Ghana. Oh, Ghana is a nice country. I like the way they always say, oh, Ghana is a nice country. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> is that what Sheila said you should give me? Yeah. <laughs> 